Cora and Alice reach Fort Henry, but find a sorry sight. There has been a fierce battle between the English and the French. Colonel Monroe was about to celebrate his victory when another French regiment joined Montcalm's army. The English retreat to the fort and are besieged. Fort Henry is over there. You see? Oh, the Lord be praised. We've done it, Cora. Soon we'll be giving Daddy a big kiss. Don't count your chickens. Huh? Remember, Fort Henry is besieged. We have to make our way through the French lines and across the lake. The fog will hide us from our enemies, but it might also stand in our way. We have to make sure we do not get separated. Of course. So we'll just have to stick close together. All right, let's get going. White men, many of them. Huh? How did he ever see them in this fog? He didn't. He smelled them. Mm -hmm. The Indians say we white people emanate a particular odor. Actually, not to put too fine a point on it, they say we stink to high heaven. I refuse to believe I stink. Not even after a four-day tromp through the forest? Well, under those conditions, anyone would be in some difficulty. Not an Indian. Their skin does not give out unpleasant smells. I don't know why, but it's true. Professor? A most interesting phenomenon indeed. I shall make a detailed scientific study. That's enough chit-chat now. Let's go. Huh? Uh, this way, please. Hmm? Oh, que j'ai sommeil. Uh, moi, j'ai soif. Take care of it. If you ever do that again, I will become very jealous. Oh, you're impossible. At any rate, thank you. He did stink, just as you say white men do. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's a Huron war canoe, but it'll carry us very nicely. Excellent. This will save us an unwanted and arduous swim. Well, if you don't capsize the boat, Professor. Uh -oh.
Colonel, sir. <laughs> Finally, the cannons are silent, and this is the night you can't sleep, eh? Strange, isn't it? But in wartime, I find moments of silence even more frightening. Not for myself, of course. For Alice and Cora. Ah, just knowing they're out there in that forest, surrounded by ferocious beasts and savage men, is a torture for me. They're both strong-willed, high-spirited girls. I'm sure there'll be a family reunion before long, sir. From your mouth to God's ear. We haven't come more than half a mile. This is only an island in the middle of the lake. We best get out. What about the fort? We'll never find it in this fog. I can't see any farther than my rifle, but we'll be safe enough here for tonight. <laughs> Cora, you love your father very much, don't you? Huh? Of course I do, Angus, just as much as you love yours. Yes, a father is still a father when he doesn't approve of his child's choices. What are you saying now? Great serpent approves oh, of everything you do. I was not talking about him. Mr. Lifting. Let's get moving before the French catch sight of us. Hmm. <laughs> Me want your scalp, oh. Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Major Duncan, sir. I'm sorry about that. Quite all right, MacGregor. It was very boring sentry detail tonight. Kidu approaching, sir! Hm, what? Indeed. It seems I spoke too soon. To bed with you, MacGregor. I'll take care of this little unpleasantness. Will you lazy swine move your weapons into position? Hurry! Sir, I don't believe those are enemies. Nonsense. Who else could have passed through the French lines? By Jove, it just can't be. Damnation. They'll spot us for sure. Huh? C'est l'ennemi! Aux armes! Oh! Oh! Aim your cannon! Hurry! On the canoe, sir! No, you fool! On the French battery! Fire on their cannons! Allez! Allez! Into the water! Now! That last shot came too close. They'll hit us with the next one. Move! Say, Razi! Professor, get going! It's rather too early for a dip, what with my rheumatism and all. Uh, 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 uh. an imposition, sir! Give me that! Répondez au feu! Répondez vite! Where is he? <laughs> Swim for it. The fort isn't far. <laughs> Colonel Monroe, we're under cannon fire. I am in possession of a pair of ears, Hume. It's simply Montcalm's usual form of rebellion. No, sir. If you'll just look over there... Send me the duty officer. He can give me the details, but in a little while, lad, I have yet to have my breakfast. Yes, sir. Open the gates! Hurry! Hurry! Hurrah! Hurrah! Uh, uh, uh. Give me your hand. Alice! 
My very dearest. <gasps> Allow me to help you. You're just the slightest bit bedraggled, my dear. That's ever so much better. I've been terribly worried about you. And about your dear sister Cora, of course. I most certainly hadn't forgotten about her, but as you well know, you, my dear, are the most precious thing in the world for me. Let's say we save the howdy-do's for later and get out of the line of fire. Uh, those parlevos make a lot of noise, but they're not real fighting men. Don't be afraid, old chap. Alice, Cora, let's not make your father wait one second longer. Come along, there's good girls. Where does that idiot think he is? With the governor's fancy dress ball? I want to hear all about your adventures in the wilderness and forests. Oh, Duncan, you can't possibly even begin to imagine. Why, it's all <gasps> Hawkeye! Gather round, boys. We missed your rifle, chum. Where the entire nation you been? Now we'll kick them Frenchmen in the hind end. <laughs> <laughs> I see the chaps who brought you here have found some friends of their own. They're wonderful men, Duncan. Don't you see how the others respect them? Oh, doubtless, doubtless. Well, we'll let the locals celebrate in but... a manner that seems fitting to them. Come along, then. Come on. We don't want to be left behind. Hey, hurry! Hey, 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 you gentlemen. Off to you, ladies. <sighs> what the? Hey, you! Hmm? Papa! How in the world did this happen? <laughs> oh, how are you, my precious ones? We're both just fine, Papa. You have nothing more to worry about, I promise you. <sighs> Tell these idiots to stand aside. Terribly sorry, but it's a private occasion. An occasion that's taking place because of us. Very well, you may come in, my good man. Follow me. We've been through so many remarkable and frightening experiences, I hardly know where to begin, Papa. And now it's all over. We must try to rid our minds of unpleasant memories. Don't you think so, my dears? That's right, Papa. From now on, we'll give you nothing further to worry about. Isn't that right, Cora? Of course. But we haven't yet spoken to you about the brave men who saved us. <laughs> where the devil do you think you're going? <laughs> Don't you know how to count? Look, including the professor, there are four of us. And only I got through. Uh. I'm sure I beg your pardon, Professor. In all the hustle and bustle, I failed to notice you. But as far as the Indians go, the Colonel does not like to receive natives in his private quarters. What? Well, he won't enjoy receiving what I have to tell him either. Your manners, my dear chap. <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> Is this your idea of gratitude? How dare you, sir? We risked our lives to save your daughters, and you slammed the door in our faces. <clears throat> this is one of those brave men. Ah, yes. The three friends you made mention of. Well, young man, your manners may not be of the most polished, but you've certainly earned my gratitude. Your gratitude is meaningless, sir, if it does not extend to my companions. He means the Mohegans I was telling you about and the Professor. Sir Huxtable Marchbanks, a renowned English entomologist. In that case, we shall invite the good Professor to dinner with us tonight, and his Indians shall have a triple ration of rum. They are not his Indians. And they are not drunkards. Certainly, certainly. And for you, my fine fellow, there will be, of course, a rich reward in golden guineas. I am not a mercenary. So? Papa is merely trying to find a way of expressing his thanks. But it's not enough. He must receive Uncas and Great Serpent at once. <laughs> you always were a hot-headed little thing. You're still overcome by the perils of your adventure. Mm, the Indians, the forest, ferocious animals. You don't know what you're saying. The truth is very different. Cora... You really should let Cora be the one to say it, if she so chooses. Of course. Now come along, my dear. Let's go and meet these fine savages of yours. And if they don't want fire water, some trumpery medals and a rusty rifle will make them happy. <laughs> <laughs> Cora! How can you allow him to talk like that? I can see it's useless and always has been. Ankis! Ankis! Where is he? 
The mists have lifted, and Uncas has finally seen the thorns that surround and protect the flower he desires. But Great Serpent, please, where did he go? It is impossible to say. He just seemed to melt into the shadows, my dear Miss Cora. Uncas! There's no reason for us to be here anymore. Hmm. Oh. No, oh, am I correct in deducing that you are Colonel Monroe, sir? <clears throat> I am. Close ranks! Make way for the patrol! I said get out of the way! Where the devil do you think you're... <sighs> <sighs> Get that savage! Get him! Down, men! Ready, aim! No! Who the devil's that? No, he's with me! Put down your weapons! Ha. I warn you, miss, whoever you may be, it is my duty to... I am Cora Munro, the Colonel's daughter. Oh, so sorry, Miss Munro, but your servant... He is not my servant. Oh, well then, your guide, your horse trainer, perhaps your cook. He's my man, the man I love. It's that simple, oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Platoon! Pull the ranks! Forward! March! <laughs> On our travels, we had to face many kinds of dangers. Bloodthirsty men, poisonous snakes, hunger, thirst, fatigue. But at least we were free. Free to love each other. Now you are back with your people and you are safe here. But who will protect you from them? It doesn't matter what they say now. We have to teach them all. We'll show them. That I'm not a, a savage like other Indians? No. I just want my father to have a chance to get to know you. He'll see what a lucky girl I am. To find a civilized Indian? Yes. One as well behaved as a white man. Or almost. My ancestors ruled from here to the great water your ships came over on. Wait, please. Ancus. It was men like your father who robbed us of everything. No. No. Oh. The forest is thick. The French ain't good all the well, way through we're it. Well, just don't let the Redcoats see you. They have this idea that anyone who feels like a change in scenery is a deserter. We're walking out of here in broad daylight. If anyone in this fort feels like stopping us, he's welcome to try. Well, in that case, good luck. There have been many surprises today. Too many, in fact. So let's try to get everything back the way it should be and at once. I spoke with your sister, and I'm inclined to forgive and forget. Obviously, the dangers of your trip caused you to lose your head a bit. Is that really what you believe, Alice? No, Cora. I simply believe... It shouldn't take more than three or four days away from the company of that fellow to bring you back to your senses again. I'm convinced of it. Excellent. I see you understand. I wonder what the cook has prepared for luncheon. I'm sorry, Father. I'm truly terribly sorry. I was mistaken and I admit it. Yes, I made the mistake of trying to present Uncas to you as though he were just an English gentleman. 
But he is much more than that, Papa. He has more strength, honesty, and dignity than any man I've ever met. You refuse to see it, and so you leave me no choice. I'm going away with him today, with or without your permission. What? Just a minute. Mm -hmm. Ancus! Cora! My love! Just let me say... Uh, shh! No, do not worry. I too made my share of mistakes. I was afraid of losing you, so I spoke out of anger and pride. Mm. But now I know your love will be stronger than any obstacle, which is why I am telling you, stay with your father. Give him another chance to open his eyes. Let him see the star that shines within you, the star that guides oh, our lives. Young love, how touching. <sighs> I will be back very soon. You're leaving? Aren't you happy, Miss Alice? The rude and uncultured element is leaving your life, so you can go back to being as unbearable as always. <gasps> uh, uh, mm. 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 Oh. Major! Sir! Have the sentries open the gate at once for these three... Deserters, sir? No, no, no need to get overzealous, my lad. Three men, more or less, aren't going to make a difference. No, we'll just let them make their way back to the forest, and may it swallow all three of them up forever. <laughs> 